Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how to answer the question in here. The first thing we need to use this table in here. And the second one, MH, that is about the spin quantum number. They always about positive 1 over 2 and negative 1 over 2. So in this way, we can find the correct answer for this one. The first thing we see that MH equals to number 1. So this one, they are not belong to this one. So we need to eliminate. The next one, we need to know that about NF and MF. We always know that the value of N and F that should be about positive number. And the next one, the value of n is always greater than the value of l based on the information in here. So for example, we have n equals to number one. So l should be about number zero. When n equals to number two, l should be zero or n number one. And now we need to ignore about the negative number because f cannot be the negative number in here. This one f and f and n they have the same in here. We don't have l number one in here. We need to ignore. The next one that is about m f. Let's say if you have number one. So the value should be between negative number 1 and positive number 1. If this one we have number 2, so the mean should be negative number 2 and the maximum that is about positive number 2. That means we need to put inside the absolute value. We put this one and should be smaller than or equal to the value of n. So we put this formula for you in here. This is the first one second and the third one to find the answer in here so we see that ml we have number four number four is bigger than number three so this one that is not correct so the answer for the question that is this one and this one because n is richer than l and the value of ML between to this one. We have MH, they belong to this one. This is the end. Thank you for watching.